And uh, next presenter is uh, Beth Badol, who is, will uh, tell about quantum aspects <coughs> of the fragmentation of metal organic complexes. Yeah, so as I said, I'm looking at the fragmentation of metal organic com complexes. Um, there we go. Okay, so our fragmentation of any molecule um, occurs when the, the molecule gains enough activation energy to surpass the barrier. Um, so this energy can be found in any sorts of methods. Um, it can be thermal activation, photon activation, or um, the energy from a laser, which is what we're looking at today. Um, so, hopefully this video loads. So this is our um, lanthanide mo uh, molecule. So as you can see, the bonds are being broken. It's not surpassing the second barrier, so they're being um, reformed as it goes. Um, and then this is just the general activation um, diagram. So as it passes the barrier, it gains enough energy to pass the barrier, then it can move into the excited state and then back into the ground state. So lanthanide cyclopentyldiamide um, is, uh, so a little background on it, it's highly volatile, um, and because of this, it can be used to create films for protective coatings at relatively um, low temperatures, um, and with that, we can use our laser to excite the LACP into this um, excited state so that it can form these, these coatings. Um, so my goal with the MATLAB uh, research was to show this this molecule um, reaching its excited state, passing the barriers, um, and then um, at a certain momentum, I should be able to show that um, it'll pass through both barriers and the bond will be broken. Um, I ran into some problems initially with this. Um, so my, my data that was given, um, I had again about 20 points. Um, so we tried to just to use this data as, as was shown. Um, but as you can see, it just kind of tunnels through the first barrier at any momentum. So these, um, these momentums are all the same momentums. We're just showing a different um, starting, um, or starting location. Um, so we tried using, um, like starting it in the middle and seeing if it would pass any barrier then. We started tried go, starting at the end and proceeding backwards. And the same thing happened, it just tunneled through. Um, so to solve that problem, um, we Interpolated more points. Um, we went up to 390 points um, using the MATLAB code. And then we also reflected the barrier so that we could see both the forward and backward. Uh, both the forward and backward views of this. So these videos are going to be showing. Um, the momentum going. This one is an initial momentum, momentum of 75,000, um, and then that was 100,000. Um, so as you can see, it is so starting to pass um, through the first barrier here. Um, the one on the right is passing through a little bit more, and it's almost reaching the second barrier. Um, so we did come to more, uh, more excitable, excitable conclusions with this one. Um, we were just able to see the actual process being carried out once we saw both sides. Um, so our conclusions, um, the bond reached excited, this excited state to pass through the first barrier fairly easily. Um, the second barrier was a bigger challenge. Um, the visualizations show that there was not enough energy to pass through that remaining barrier, um, so it was converted back into a bond um, and it proceeded in the reverse direction. Okay, let's thank Beth.